The first man then answered, saying something that I thought included the word samples. The voices then faded to nothing, as if the speakers had moved out of earshot. What on earth was going on? Where was I? More importantly, who was I? Welcome back, friends, to Nindy Nexus, your channel that does more than just all things Nintendo Indie. We're doing another first look today, and today is one that I'm pretty excited about. It's called Choices That Matter and their heroes were lost. It's a choose your own adventure style story on the North American eShop for $5.99 with a launch discount, bringing it down to $4.79. The game is available February 10th, 2021. It is a one player adventure puzzle strategy published by Tin Man Games, developed by Tin Man Games, game file size 68 MB and supported languages include English, it is rated T for Teen for Blood, suggestive themes, and violence. Let's go ahead and get into this one. I'm excited to see more Choose Your Own Adventure style games come to the eShop. I've played uh, the ones that are there, at least a, a good chunk of them. Um, a lot of them are the Final Fantasy, uh, or <laughs> Fighting Fantasy style games, uh, which are, if you aren't aware, the old school books basically they had fi fighting fantasy games and those are some of the ones that shaped what we see today and, and lots of great uh, apps on your phone that you can get like the choice of games or the uh, delight i think it's delight games um all those stories if you've ever played them on on your phone you know what i'm talking about if you haven't i highly recommend that you download those apps to like games They're, they have a free app where you can play literally just hundreds of chapters of stories uh where you get to choose the decisions throughout the game and uh you know it's pretty cool let's go ahead and get into this one from tin man games so if you aren't familiar tin man games is also the developer of the Warlock of Firetop Mountain, which is on a huge sale right now, down from $29.99 down to $2.99. If you haven't played that one, I highly recommend it. Nintendo Switch port developed by Screw Tape Studios. Can't forget to mention them here. Let's go ahead and get to this menu. There is no death in your future, but that does not mean your decisions are without risk. And their heroes were lost. There was a bright light in fear, then blackness. Wake up, soldier! I moved instinctively and was brought up short by something that rattled and restrained my right arm with a grip of iron. Eyes fully open now, I realized I was on a dirt floor and not a bunk. There were manacles attached to my wrists. The chain connecting them ran through a large ring attached to a wall above my head. And what was this thing around my throat? I felt a fine metal mesh with my fingers and some sort of box on the back of my neck. A coolness to my scalp had my fingers exploring there as well. Someone had shaved my head. What the hell? I levered myself up so I was leaning against the wall and looked around for answers. The room was dim and smelt of damp earth and urine. There were others present, also chained, most lying prone. Were they asleep? Unconscious? Dead? At least there seemed to be someone else awake. They were sitting upright in the opposite left corner, watching me. There were four of us in the cell. We were all wearing the same thing, a sleeveless, concrete gray tracksuit, and no shoes. The cell itself was of cinder block construction, with daylight coming in dimly through chicken-wired triangles at the ends of the roof space. There was something that might be a concrete water butt in the middle of the wall opposite me. The air felt hot and oppressive, like it does just before a storm in the tropics. Obviously, something bad had happened. But what? And why? 
talk to the person who is awake or test the strength of your restraints. Let's test the strength of our restraints. Dreams. Dreams of falling forever. Dreams of spinning uncontrollably. Dreams of a coldness that hurt the skin. Dreams of people screaming soundlessly. Dreams of gasping for a breath that never comes. Dreams of thick-bodied monsters with one eye. Dreams of misshapen hands reaching out. Fight against the monsters or let the monsters take you. I'm gonna fight against the monsters. Everything was black. Wake up, fool! Listen! I woke with a start, my entire body held in a firm grip. Eyes fully open now, I could see little except for the fact that I seemed to be inside something small. A coffin? Obviously, something bad had happened. But what? And why? And then I heard the voices. There were two of them, but they were faint and muffled. As the voice inside my head had suggested, I listened. Not equipped to, it was a man's voice. Then another man spoke, Empire, I'm going to. The first man then answered saying something that I thought included the word samples. The voices then faded to nothing, as if the speakers had moved out of earshot. What on earth was going on? Where was I? More importantly, who was I? Call out these questions to the people or try to bust free. Well, testing the chains didn't do much, so let's call out the questions. Who's there? Where am I? Who am I? I shouted. I waited for a response, but there was none. Who was I? Now there was a good question. What is my name? It should have been one of the easiest questions to answer. Ugh, I muttered, and then gritted my teeth at the sharp pain that had blossomed behind my eyes. What's happened to me? Why can't I remember who I am? And why does my head hurt so much when I try to remember? These thoughts just brought more pain, and so I decided to think of other, less painful things. I began to evaluate my situation. I was in some sort of special chamber, which only allowed for limited movement. Some sort of hard foam was supporting and containing my body, and I could feel tighter restraints around my ankles, wrists, and throat. But the container wasn't airtight. I could breathe, and I'd been able to hear those men talking before. If anyone could answer my questions, it would be them. But were they the good guys or bad guys? Call out again or try to bust free? Let's uh, call out one more time here. Before I could do anything, I heard a click and then a voice close to my ear. Welcome to Camp Amnesia number 46. The man spoke English with what sounded like a European accent of some type. And what was this about a Camp Amnesia? I'd never heard of such a place. I needed answers. Badly. What is going on? Why am I in prison like this? Why, why can't I remember who I am? I asked. So many questions, the man said in a clinical manner. Understandable, really, I suppose, but I am not at liberty to answer any but the last. Well, that's a start at least, I thought. So why can't I remember who I am? I asked. You can't remember because I have suppressed your memories, replied the man with a hint of mockery to his voice. You bastard! Why? 
try to bust free or demand an explanation? Uh, I'm going to demand an explanation. First of all, let me warn you that your life and even the memories of your former life are completely under my control. So did this mean he could give me back my memories? But you will need to cooperate with me or else. He was sounding like a bad movie villain now. I wondered if he was about to spill the whole plot. You are an unexpected variable, he said, and I don't like unknowns. Then he paused, as if for dramatic effect, and said, However, you might be useful in solving another little problem we have. Are you interested in getting your memories back? Tell him to cut the melodrama and tell you the deal, or don't give him a direct answer and learn as much as you can. Let's, uh... Give him a direct answer here. Or don't give him a direct answer. I'm listening, I said. One of our inmates has escaped, and like you, he is a superhuman. I'm superhuman? I didn't feel superhuman. While that sank in, he continued to talk. If you agree, you will join a party being ready to hunt him down. Otherwise, you will join the others in the prison camp. This all sounded pretty bizarre to me, and I wondered how I was supposed to make any sort of decision with so little information. Yes or no, he said. Time is of the essence. The idea of hunting a man is disgusting. No! If it's that, or having my memories wiped again, then yes. Oh yeah, we're going for it. Good, said the voice. Here are the rules. Obey them and help us with this task, and you will get your memories back. And if things go well with you, I promise you opportunities in the future beyond your wildest dreams. This guy was really big noting himself here, but for the moment, I would let him play his games. One, you are wearing a special collar. If you try to tamper with that collar, it will kill you. I could not remember this collar, and I swallowed involuntarily. 2. The collar is linked wirelessly to our control system. If it doesn't make regular connections with that control system, it will automatically kill you. Hmm, that was to stop me from running off too, obviously. 3. We cannot only kill you remotely with the collar, but also makes things very uncomfortable for you with it. We will do this, if you don't do as you're told. So, why didn't you put one of these collars on your escaped prisoner? I asked, curious. We did, came the reply. Let's just say he's tougher than you, and leave it at that. He's a superhuman? Do I know him? I asked. His name? The speaker paused for a moment's thought. His name is the Unstoppable Force. Does that mean anything to you? He asked. There was some vague memory that he was a superhero, a strong man. Maybe part of a team? That raised some interesting questions about myself. Say, no, and I'm not known by you, but he is, so what does that mean? Or say, that's really nasty, have you made me forget my own teammate? Say, let's go with this one. Let's see if there's an interesting response. All I got in reply was a laugh. Without further information, I needed to remain practical. So if he's so tough, why do you think I can beat him? I asked. I don't, came the quick reply. At least, not by yourself. But you will be part of a hunting party. I think you might make a difference. You have to realize how difficult this is, I said in frustration. I don't even know what my supposed superhuman capabilities are. I heard a slight chuckle, and then he said, <laughs> And that's the fun of it. Like I said, you're an unknown variable. You're strong, tough, and seem to be intelligent. Beyond that, I can't help you in the time frame involved. You know you're a right son of a biscuit, don't you? I said. He laughed again and said, <laughs> You're lucky I have an intellectual bent. Don't be so flippant with my brother. 
He would probably kill you for what you just said. Brother? I asked. Yes, he will be leading the hunting party. It's the sort of thing he loves, though I don't really understand why. Duly noted, I said. So what now? Now, he replied, I'm going to let you out of the machine. My brother wants to head out as soon as possible. With this, I felt life start to flow sluggishly back into my limbs. As soon as I am free, I try to escape, or this is not the right time to do anything rash. Wait and see what happens. And I think with this cliffhanger <laughs> of an ending, I will leave our first look at that. I will, of course, continue to play. But if you liked this style of video, if you like this style of game, if you like choose your own adventure, if you like using your imagination to picture what's going on, this is definitely the type of game that you may be into. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more videos like this. I do have a couple other choose your own adventure games that I am going to get into and I would love to share them with everyone. I even considered making a choose your own adventure video where you could choose the decisions or at least the major decisions the turning point decisions, but I'm still thinking about how to work that all out. Anyway, remember this is Choices That Matter and Their Heroes Were Lost. It is on the North American eShop for $5.99, available February 10th, 2021. My name is Mikey. I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope you're staying safe and healthy and sane out there. I will see you next time for the next video. Have a great day and I'm out of here.